guys, thanks for checking out the channel again. My name's Greg if you're new here, and due to popular requests, I'm actually going to show how I do my ambient guitar stuff. Um, there's nothing secret in here, I just ne have never gotten to it. I've got Logic Pro open, let's go ahead and jump over to my production screen. I'm going to go ahead and just show the instruments that I'll end up using. By default, I'll take two or three instruments in here. I've already chosen them ahead of time, so just to save you guys some time. Quick sampler, pad, deep in thought, got a Mellotron up here loaded as well, and let's just go ahead and do another Mellotron playing cellos. So I got Deep in Thought, just a pad. Strings and flute. Mellotron is going to be a little bit louder, so I'll turn the volume down. Same thing with this for the cello. This will be playing a lower note. There we go. So here are my notes I'll use to build pedal tone sound. Deep in Thought. Let's just pick a key, any key. Let's go uh, key of C. So I'm just going to get a couple of notes lined up. There we go. Got those two notes. Make sure they're quantized. Bring them to the beginning of my region. Drag it out one bar, and I'll take that extended out 16 bars. The purpose of this, I'm gonna show you how I do my kind of like frozen in time splice using some couple of effects. So there's that, deep in thought, let's drop that in, copy it. This will drop an octave. And I'll spread these out. So this will go. There's that. This is everything we'll use to build our pedal tone. Sounds kind of cool, but for the most part, we're going to go ahead and just apply some effects. First thing I will reach for is a reverb. Valhalla Shimmer has been always my go-to. Crank the mix, add some feedback. There's that. I'm going to go ahead and copy Valhalla Shimmer to that. Cellos, solo. Nice. While I'm doing this, let's just go ahead and Control-B, bounce in place. I want to get all these um, MIDI tracks into their own audio files. So I'll call this high pad, mid pad, bass pad. There we go. So high pad, I'm going to go ahead and add true tape delay. If you see any of my guitar videos, this is basically a guitar pedal that just simulates a tape delay. My favorite part with doing this is it's a playing a drone, but if you add a reverse delay to it, high mix, it has a little bit of a bounce to it. There we go. So now we've got something interesting happening. So I'm gonna add some more dirt, flutter, let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, the next thing I'll do is maybe add some sort of like shimmer guitar. So I've got my pedal board set up. I'm already on a swell tone. I'll just do a really quick key of C. Um, so I'll end up playing something of this nature. But I want it to also feel like it's frozen in time. Let's go ahead and hit record. Okay. So those notes that I'm playing are basically the same notes as this high pad section right here. The interesting thing about this though is I wanna chop it up, stretch it. So let's go ahead and do an alt drag on the bottom right corner of that region. Stretch it out. There we go. So if I take what I just played, solo it. We're getting somewhere with this, and that's going to be fun. So I'm going to go ahead and go do another shimmer on top of that. Full mix, add some shimmer reverb feedback to that. And let's hear that guitar part again, soloed. Everything together so far. Okay, so that sounds pretty neat. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove our plugins. So now I'm back to a plain electric channel. And this is where I would typically do like my 30 minute takes. However, there's one extra catch that I wanna add in here. I wanna add everything into a mix bus. And the reason for this, you'll see here in just a sec. If I open up my mixer, let's just change all of our outputs to bus 10. I wanna compress all of the other instruments based on what my main guitar is playing. 
So while I'm here, let's go ahead and choose sidechain, audio. Right now I'm on audio five, I believe. So audio five, when I play the electric guitar on top of it, that's when it gets interesting because it's gonna follow the dynamics of my playing. As I play, everything else gets quieter. And that is set up through that compression. Probably do about a 20, 30 second snippet of this. And that's really just my process to making these ambient videos. So I'm gonna switch back to my main camera. If you found this interesting or helpful or just have any questions about it, drop them down below and I'd love to start a conversation. I don't know what you guys wanna watch until you guys tell me about it. Um, that's how I got the idea for this video. But anyway, you guys know what to do if you like this stuff. So I don't need to tell you again. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. <laughs>